Hey guys, my name is Laura. I'm one of the nurses from the NHS and today I would like to talk about the National Early Warning Score or News Scale, which is a critical tool used by healthcare professionals to assess the clinical status of patients and detect early warning signs of deterioration. <music> This scale is key element for patient safety and improve patient's outcome. The new scale was developed by the Royal College of Physicians with the objective of creating a standardized and consistent approach to patients of their observation. The goal was to identify early warning signs of deterioration and prioritize patients who are in need of urgent intervention to ensure appropriate care is provided in a timely manner. They built it gathering clinical information from 2005 to 2012 about several patients and from there build the scale. After that, the NEWS scale was updated in 2017 to the NEWS 2, which is the current version that we use in the NHS. So how does it work and how do we get this score? The NEWS scale assigns a score to a patient based on six psychological parameters, including respiration rate, oxygen saturation, blood pressure, heart rate, level of consciousness and temperature. The score is calculated through a 0 to 3 point system for each parameter and two additional points if the patient is receiving oxygen therapy. The overall score ranges from 0 indicating no deterioration to 20 indicating a severe deterioration and healthcare professionals use the score to evaluate the risk of deterioration. So basically what we try is in between 0 to 20 early action to reduce the probability of the patient to reach the 20 points score. But let me stop here one second. I'd like to remark that the first parameter is the respiration rate, which is the always forgotten parameter. The respiration rate is considered as a vital sign and changes in its rate can provide important information about the patient's condition. An elevated respiration rate, also known as tachypnea, can be a sign of respirational distress and could indicate the presence of conditions as a pneumonia, asthma or, or even heart failure. On the other hand, a decreased respiration rate, also known as bradypnea, can be a sign of central nervous system depression, which could be indicative of conditions such as an overdose or a head injury. In the news scale, the respiration rate is assigned a score based on its value. A higher score indicates more severe illness and greater need for intervention. For example, if the patient respiration rate uh, is 12 to 20 breaths per minute, uh, the patient would score zero, while a respiration rate of more than 25 breaths per minute would score three points. In conclusion, what I'm trying to say is that the respiration rate is an important component in the news scale and plays a crucial role in the assessment of the, of the patient. So let's try together and imagine a scenario. We've got Mr. Blackpool, which is a 60-year-old gentleman who attends your emergency department with fever, cough, and pleuritic pain with the following vital signs. Respiration rate of 21, oxygen saturation of 93 without oxygen therapy. Systolic blood pressure is 120, uh, heart rate 95. 95. Level of consciousness, he is alert, and his temperature is 38.5. According to this tool, as you can see in the chart, this patient would score 6. We would add 2 points for the respiration rate, 2 points for the oxygen saturation, 1 point for the pulse, and 1 point for the temperature. So now that we have the score, what recommendations do we get from this calculated score? 
if the patient has a score from 0 to 3, they are considered low risk and their vital signs should be checked every 8 hours. If the patient has a score from 3 to 6, like the, our patient Mr. Blackpool, their vital signs should be checked every 4 hours. And if the patient had a score uh, of 7 or more, their vital signs should be checked every 2 hours or more depending on the risk of the patient. We can measure the risk of deterioration of the patient seeing the score of the patient that he had recently. The news scale also provides guidance on who we should inform about the patient's condition. It could be the SHO or the ICU doctors. It also gives us recommendations on whether the patient should be transferred uh, or not. For example, if your patient is scoring 10, the news scale will advise you to think to transfer the patient to the ICU within the next two hours. So when do we use the news scale? We use it always when we need to check the vital signs of the patients. We use it in the GP, in the emergency department, we use it in ICU, Obviously, we use it on the on the wards and who is the person that is going to do the assessment. It's important to note that the news scale is a tool that should be used by healthcare professionals who assess the patient's virus signs, but it should always be validated as some score may be incorrect due to misreading errors. For example, Imagine if you enter in the basin of your room and your patient is saying that he's feeling okay, that everything is fine, and you check the vital signs and you see a score of 15. Something might be wrong. Uh, that's why we have to revalidate the scores before saying that that's the score that the patient is having. I'd like to mention that the news score also has some limitations, such as not being suitable for patients under 16 years old, or pregnant women, or um, patients with a spinal cord injuries, or central nervous di uh, system disorders, or patients with special needs. Additionally, the scale is used differently with patients with hypercapnia or patients with COPD. The news score is really useful when we have a couple of scores from a patient, so we can see the tendency of the patients to deteriorate or to improve. This is a continuous assessment that allows healthcare professionals to analyze the faces when the patient is getting worse or getting better. To conclude with the introduction of this valuable tool, it's important to note that the news scale is a guide and a reference. It's not a substitute of clinical judgment. It was designed to assess in making clinical decisions, but it should not be relied upon exclusively. Instead, it should be used in conjunction with other information and clinical assessment to make informed clinical decisions. The news scale provides additional support in the assessment of patients, uh, but it doesn't provide solutions. Its purpose is simply to assess, uh, to assist healthcare professionals in making informed clinical decisions. I encourage you to put uh, your knowledge into practice by assessing your next patient and try to calculate the score using the six parameters. This exercise will help you to better understand the scale and determine if you have a good grasp of its usage, which will ultimately lead to improve the care for your patients. As you know, the National Early Warning Score is widely used in the United Kingdom. It has expanded to other countries such as Australia, Canada, New Zealand and other countries in, the, in Europe. However, it's important to note too that each country may have different guidelines for implementing the news scale and use it in its clinical practice. I really hope this video has made it easier for you to understand the significance of the news scale in our healthcare system as it improves clinical safety and quality of care of the patient.